In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get from this to this. Last month I visited New York and took a lot of nighttime photos with Fuji X100V. Some of these photos turned out great, and a lot of you, and by a lot I mean like 10, asked for a tutorial how to edit my night photos. So in this video I'm gonna try to make a tutorial of my color grading process in Lightroom, especially for those nighttime photos. Of course the base photo needs to be good enough, and shooting raw is crucial for this type of editing. I chose this photo since I feel like this scene was really nice, and overall I like this photo very much. So, once I know what I'm working with, I will import the photo to Lightroom Classic and start the process. Okay, so it looks like the photo has some unnecessary crane that I would like to get rid of. This new AI-based denoiser is just... wow. Like, just watch how well it actually works. I think 27 works usually pretty well. So good, so good. Okay, let's start to work with this. I know I always try to emphasize the light source, so I think I will add a basic round mask at the center. I usually mess with the white balance a little bit. I try to make this a little bit warmer. Some exposure. Okay, I almost always lower the contrast that makes the photo pretty flat at this point, but I'm gonna adjust the shadows later for sure. But at this point I'm trying to make the photo as flat and warm, I guess, as possible. Uh, something like this. I will add some clarity, like... Okay, here's a pro tip. Uh, I like to add some vibrance, but lower the overall saturation a little. I think this makes the colors work pretty well. Uh -huh. I usually rely on pretty standard S curves when it comes to the tone curves. Uh, maybe a little bit more on top of the curves. Okay, now this is my favorite part, the actual color creating and color correction. So let's play with the reds a little. A little bit with hue. I like to add a lot of saturation for the reds. And some light to it as well. And same thing for the oranges. Trying to get that nice teal and orange look going on. Like this and this. Oh. Oh, this actually looks pretty nice like this. Wow. Maybe I should save this as a preset. Okay, playing with the yellows. I take off the saturation so the whites become more whiter. Uh, basically same thing for the greens. That looks good. And also for the blues. Taking off some saturation. I think this looks pretty good right now. I don't know. So as you can see, the photo still looks pretty orange and warm, and we are going for that moody bluish look. So let's play with these color grading circles. Okay, wow. Uh, as you can see, adding some blue to the shadows really works. I like this a lot. Uh, let's leave it like that. Maybe I'm gonna add some purple and mid-tones as well. And this is what I always do. Uh, I just add a lot of green or teal into the highlights like this. And okay, and still one more super pro tip. I usually like to crank these two dials to the far to the right. Kind of like the whole world is right now. Then I know this is for online, so let's add some sharpening. And that's basically it. I know it feels pretty weird, especially in the beginning when you make everything warm and flat and just weird, but trust me, it's worth it. And these settings you can just copy and paste into other photos and it should work pretty well. Here are some examples. I 
I hope you learned something from this. Let me know if you would like me to do more tutorials. Thanks for watching.